Have no graven images. Exodus 20, verse 4 and 5. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image, or any likeness of anything that is in the heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. For I, Yahweh the Elohim, am a jealous Elohim. Now if we just look at the verse real quick, it seems as if it's saying that any image is considered a sin to make and possess. But the key to this commandment is in verse 5 of Exodus 20. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them. So having paintings and sculptures is not a sin. It's only a sin the moment we worship the images. Let's take a look at an example. Moses was commanded by the Father to create a serpent image and have it on a pole. Numbers 21 verse 8. And Yahweh said unto Moses, Make thee a fiery serpent, and set it upon a pole. And it shall come to pass that everyone that is bitten, when he looketh upon it, shall live. Having this carved image of a serpent and setting it on a pole was not a sin. The sin occurred once the people of Israel began bowing down and worshipping the image itself. 2 Kings 18 verse 4 He, King Hezekiah, removed the high places and broke the images and cut down the groves and broke in pieces the brazen serpent that Moses had made. For unto those days the children of Israel did burn incense to it. Again, Yahweh says in Deuteronomy 5 verse 8 through 9, Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image, or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above, or that is in the earth beneath, or that is in the waters beneath the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself unto them, nor serve them. The biggest example today of this sin is in certain churches. Believers will actually kneel, pray, and even kiss images and statues. They obviously know it's only an image and or statue, but again, they are bowing down and worshipping these images in the place of Yahweh. Look how serious a sin it became for Israel. Exodus 32, verse 7 through 10. And Yahweh said unto Moses, Go down, for your people whom you brought out of the land of Egypt have corrupted themselves. They have turned aside quickly out of the way that I commanded them. They have made for themselves a golden calf, and have worshipped it, and sacrificed to it, and said, These are your gods, O Israel, who brought you out of the land of Egypt. Yahweh said unto Moses, I have seen this people, and behold, it is a stiff-necked people. Now therefore let me alone, that my wrath may burn hot against them, and I may consume them. So remember, that Yahweh is a jealous Elohim, who does not take this lightly. He has given us specific instructions on how to love Him, and how to not love Him.
गाड़ी गाड़ी गाड़ी